In this video, we're going to look at how you can estimate the square root of non-square numbers. Like here, where we're being asked to estimate the square root of 77. The first step with questions like this is to find the two square numbers on either side of the number that you're given. So if you need to find the square root of 77, you want to remember that 8 squared is 64 and 9 squared is 81, because 64 and 81 are the square numbers on either side of 77. And this tells us that the square root of 77 must be a number in between 8 and 9, so perhaps something like 8.5. However, as 77 is closer to 81 than it is to 64, our answer will probably be closer to 9 than it is to 8. And so instead, we might guess something like 8.8, .8, which, if we're only trying to give an answer to one decimal place, is actually correct. If we'd wanted to give it to three decimal places, the answer would have been 8.775, but we can't really estimate to that level of detail. Let's try another one. This time, we're looking for the square root of 30. So we need to recall that 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36. Then, because 30 is roughly in the middle of 25 and 36, we could estimate that our answer is roughly in the middle of 5 and 6. So maybe 5.5, which, when given to one decimal place, is the square root of 30. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon.